What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be covering the topic of some scheduling and calculation of cost and quantity of curtain wall uh, elements. So as you all know curtain walls are made out of different elements. We've got some mullions, the vertical ones, the horizontal ones and then we have some uh, some panels, the glass panels, and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to calculate the quantity as well as the price of all of those uh, all of those materials or elements for curtain panels. But before it gets or curtain walls. But before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial. It helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. And if you want to download the final project file or any of my other Revit project files, I've got a bunch so far. Uh, check out my Patreon first link in the description. Also, I've got some advanced Revit uh, courses that are all over one hour long there, so you can check that out as well. First link in the description. Okay, so let's get started. As you can see here, I am in Revit at the start page. I'm just going to go to the architectural template for uh, this little exercise. And once we open it up, let's just first set the units. So I'm just going to type in UN and change it from uh, millimeters to, let's go with meters and for the rounding I'm going to set this to two decimal places. So I'm just going to check OK, OK again and now let's start modeling. So I'm just going to model a simple uh, piece of curtain wall and then we're going to play around with some scheduling. So here just go to wall, then go to properties and uh, open up the drop menu, scroll all the way down and find the storefront curtain wall, click there and let's just set the top constraint at something like level 2 so it's going to give us uh, probably like a 4 meter height and then let's do two segments just like that. Okay so we've got these two segments maybe extend this one a bit. Okay there we go let's go into 3D to see what that looks like. Okay it looks decent enough and uh, just something that I'm going to do is here for this corner, uh, as you can see, kind of the mullions are overlapping and that's not correct. And I would like to have two types of mullions so I can show you how you can differentiate later on in the schedule that do two different types of mullions. So what I'm just going to do is select, uh, go ahead over here, just kind of zoom in, hit tab a few times till you select the mullion, then click. Then go ahead to the second mullion, hit tab a few times until it highlights, hold the control key to add to selection and select that one as well. And do the same thing for the top ones. So like this, hold the control, add to selection and here as well. Okay, now once the four of these are selected, I'm just going to unpin all four. And once they are unpinned, let's exchange them for some sort of a curtain mullion. To do that, just go here to the properties panel, open it up and find your trapezoid kind of corner mullion. As, as you can see over here it says trapezoid corner mullion. So that's the one that I'm going to use. There's also a V mullion. You can use that one as well. That's kind of similar to this look but I prefer the trapezoid one. It looks cooler. Now it's going to give you a bit of a warning and just go delete elements. What it's actually saying is because it had four elements and now we only have two. We only have the upper one, this one and the lower one this one. So we had four of them and then because we you don't need to have four, you just need to have two for this segment, they were overlapping and Revit automatically deleted two of those. Okay, so now we have this curtain wall and let's start calculating the cost and the quantity for this uh, curtain wall. But before we can do that, we need to add the price to all of these elements. So what I'm just going to do now is zoom in to this mullion Let's tab a few times, select it, go here into edit type and here we have this cost a parameter. So I'm just going to click there and let's add something like 50. So let's say it's 50 euros per one meter of this mullion. Now let's go to this mullion over here, the trapezoid one, go into edit type and let's say this one is, well it has to be more expensive so let's go with 150. Go apply, okay. And let's go to the panel, so tab a few times, select the panel. Again, you don't really have to unpin it for this, this is just kind of changing the parameters, so you can leave it as is. Go here into edit type, uh, scroll down again to cost, and let's say this is, I don't know, like 200 euros per one square meter of this glass. 
hit apply, okay, and we're done. So now we've set up the price for uh, all of these elements over here. And what, what I'm going to do now is go ahead, create a schedule and then calculate the price of this wall uh, curtain wall segment. So scroll down here in your project browser, find the schedule quantities uh, option, right click, and here we have new schedule quantities. Click there, and here we've got uh, this new schedule uh, dialog pops up. And let's scroll down a bit, find curtain walls. Let's see what we have. Okay, we've got curtain wall panels as well as curtain wall mullions. We've got curtain wall systems, but that's not important right now. So let's start off with panels first. Just select panels here. Let's leave it at schedule building components, phase, new construction, and click OK. So now what you need to select is all of the parameters you want to include in, inside of your schedule. So the first parameter or first important thing is family and type. You, we want to have the family name as well as the type of glass that we have here or uh, type of a panel that we have here. Next thing is we want to have the height of the panel, add that. We want to have the width of the panel, select it, add here. We want to have the area of the panel, add that. And we want to have cost of the panel added there as well. Now. Here, looking at this, uh, basically the structure of this, it's from family height with area cost. Now, in that same order is going to, uh, we're going to have that same order inside of our schedule. So just keep that in mind. So if you want to rearrange something, just use these arrows over here. So if I want maybe area to be uh, the last thing, I would select it and then drop it down. But I actually want to have this, uh, this arrangement, so that's why I left it like that. Next thing, I'm going to go here to sourcing and grouping and let's source it by family and type. I'm going to add a footer that's going to have the title, uh, title count and totals as well as a blank line uh, underneath. Also, I'm going to go here to formatting and then for my area, I want to have calculate totals as, and that's, yeah, that's it. So I'm just going to leave it at that, hit OK, and here we go we've got our schedule. Now you're going to notice something at uh, looking at this schedule and that's the fact that here uh, when, when it says system panel uh, we've got the height, the width and here the area and the area the problem is uh, it's kinda rounded off at the full meter so I'm just going to go to units and change that but you can't type in UN over here uh, to go to the shortcut for units you need to go to some of the plans so go UN here and let's find area and let's add a couple of decimal places. Hit OK, click OK once again, go back to our schedule. So here at the project browser, schedule and quantities, open that the drop menu up and find panel schedule. OK, so the problem here now is, as you can see, we've got the different numbers over here, but the cost stays the same. This is because the cost is only calculated like this. It's just like an additional kind of uh, information on what the cost of this particular family is. But it doesn't calculate the cost of this particular panel over here and it doesn't calculate the total cost as well. So for that we need to add another, uh, another row or column. So just go over here into insert and then uh, you need to create a new one. So go here new parameter. For the name I'm going to call it total cost. And yeah, uh, for the parameter, do we have uh, currency? We've got it. So just leave it at currency, hit OK. So we've got total cost, hit OK again. And here we go. We've got another, uh, another row. So now I can select it. And here we've got a calculated option. So just click that calculated option. And for the name, let's again type in total cost. For the discipline, leave it at common. For the type, leave it at currency. And for the formula, you can go here to three dots and go over here to area, okay, one space. Then we've got the asterisk sign for times, then another space. Then again, go through this three dot uh, menu, then go to cost, hit okay again. And then because this is uh, an area 
times cost, but area is in square meters and cost is in just currency. What we need to do is we need to get rid of that, those meters. So what I'm just going to do here is go uh, kind of divided by and type in meter or sorry, one meter. And here I need to add to the power of two. Hit OK. And there we go. But one more thing. Here, as you can see, uh, it kind of calculated the whole thing. So here we've got 2.5 times 200. It's around 500. And the same thing here. Here is smaller. So the numbers are okay, but we want to have the total cost of all of these panels. And for that, we need to go here to the properties panel, go to our formatting, and let's go to formatting, total cost, and here just add calculate totals, hit OK, and here we go. This is the total price. It's around 5,000 euros for uh, all of the panels here. Now let's create a similar, uh, I guess you would call it, a similar schedule for our, uh, for all of the mullions. So go here to schedules, new schedule quantities, scroll down, go to, let's see, curtain wall mullions, go OK. I'm going to go a bit faster, so what we need to do is go family and type. We need to have a length parameter, so let's go with that one. We need a cost parameter, and that's it. Then go here to source and grouping, family type, footer, blank line, formatting, and for the length, I want to have calculate totals. Just click OK, and there we go. So because we have two types of uh, two, two types of these uh, mullions, so here is the first one. The regular mullion is here. And here we have the total length is, what is this, 43, okay. And for the trapezoid, it's only four meters. But again, we need a new column. So let's go insert, let's call it a new type. And let's go here and go with total cost. Go okay. And yeah, just change this to currency. Yeah, go okay. Okay, the problem is we already have that, so let's change this to total cost for mullions. Okay, total cost for mullions, that works. Go OK, now we can select this parameter and go here into calculated. For the name, uh, let's go total cost. Will it work with total cost here? Let's see. For the discipline common, for uh, the type, currency, and then for the formula, we go just by length, space, asterisk sign, space, cost, enter, and then we divide it, but not to one meter uh, by the power of two. This is just one meter because this is length, so it's just regular meters, not square meters, and just get OK. And here we go. We've got the calculation. So here it's, I don't know, it's 2.4 meters times 50, it's 120. And just to get the total cost of this thing, we just need to go here to our formatting, find formatting, yeah, total cost, and let's go calculate totals, okay. So yeah, it's 2,000 euros for this and 600 euros for this. And the best part about this, we can actually make some changes now back into the model, and then we don't have to really change our schedules. The schedules basically update themselves. So if I go ahead over here, maybe go into 3D, and let's say I change this length, and if I go back into my Malian schedule, scroll down, yeah, it's almost 3,000 euros for this. Okay, and let's make another change. Let's go back into, maybe go into 3D. Let's select this thing. Going to edit type, and here for the vertical and horizontal mullions, we have the border types, and then we have the interior types. So interior type, interior type, and the border types. So the border types are all of the mullions on the outside, and the interior type is these on the inside. So I'm just going to change the interior type to some circular mullion. This one, hit apply, OK, and now as you can see, it's changed. Maybe if I go here into realistic, yeah, so these are now circular mullions. So if we now go back into our mullion schedule, as you can see, now we have these circular mullions, and then we have the rectangular ones and the trapezoid ones. Now, the reason why we don't have the cost is because we don't have the cost added. So let's go back to here, 
select one of these circular mullions and okay this is the regular one let's select the circular one oh here we go so for the cost let's go maybe this is I don't know like 60 hit apply okay go back here into manual uh, mullion schedule and now we have the cost of that so there we go that's how you create these schedules so we've got the panel schedule as well as the mullion schedule and we can easily send this to maybe a curtain wall manufacturer and then they can uh, maybe just make sure that our calculations were correct and then they can create our uh, our curtain wall for us okay so that's how you create these schedules for calculating uh, complex uh, complex curtain walls panels and mullions in Revit. Thank you for watching. I hope you have learned something new. And if you want to download this project file with all of the schedules, check out my Patreon, first link in the description. Also check out some of the advanced courses. I've got like six so far. Okay, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for any future tutorials, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.